And I realized certain aspects of that shit just affected people differently. Like when the anthrax thing happened, white people, y'all was very nervous. Y'all would come up to me at work and warn me. Like, oh my God, Aries, be careful, don't open your mail. Let me tell you something, black people was never worried about anthrax. Cause y'all know half the time, we don't open our mail, no way. We think that shit is a bill, we might hold it to the light. No, that's a red notice, <laughs> fuck that. You wanna get us with anthrax, put that shit in a Jay-Z CD, that's how you get us. I got that new jig of, oh shit. Osama got me, motherfucker. It's the only way. And I'm originally from New York, like I said, but I live in LA and I was at home when that whole thing went down. And my people from back east called me, said, man, turn on TV, plane was taking over, hostage situation. And I've seen the movies. So when I heard hostage situation, I'm thinking big ass guns and bombs was used. They said homemade knives. Do you know what a homemade knife is called? Shank. Shank. <laughs> That's a prison weapon. We invented that shit. That's why I know it couldn't have been a bunch of niggas on the plane. That'd have been a different phone call. Like, Put Osama, we're the trying to take over the plane. As soon as we pull out knife, all the niggas say, oh no, you didn't. I got to go and call you back. <laughs> Allah, that had been a whole different. Brothers would have called air traffic control. Yeah, this Tyrone, they tried to get us with knives. <laughs> oh no, we whooped their ass, but where the manual at? I got to land this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> 